In this video I'm just going to walk you through a bunch of changes all related to uh, MIDI handling, MIDI filters um, and that sort of area. And the first one is in the MIDI filter dialog there's now a new command edit undo all. So sometimes you might come in here you might fiddle around with your filters um, and because they get applied immediately so that you can test them kind of as, as you're working with them you can see what effect they have. Sometimes you might come in here and mess things up and just want to go back. So there's an undo all and what it does is it basically undoes everything back to where it was when this dialog was uh, first presented. Okay, so there's, there's that one. Um, there's a new MIDI filter in here called Note to Program and what this does is it maps uh, MIDI notes to program numbers. So what you can do is you can select the note range um, and whether you want to map all the notes. So um, in this case Let's, let's just as an example, I'm going to set the base program number to 21 and let's set this to start at um, C2. What, what will happen now is if I hit C2 it'll generate program number 21. If I hit uh, C sharp 2 it'll do 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 etc. If I choose just white notes then it will be this will be 21 here, 22, 23, 24, 25, so it ignores the black notes. And similarly for black notes, I don't know if anyone would ever use that, but the same. So this would be 21, 22, 23, 24, etc. Okay, and then you can choose to either send a normal program change or a banked program change with this checkbox here. Okay, so that's a new way of mapping uh, notes to program change events. There's, uh, what else? On the on the old uh, controller map filter there was this option here for what to do with outer range values so if you had a say you had a range in here of 30 to I don't know 100 for example then a value of say 20 would either be discarded clamped slid but there's a new one now pass through which means just pass that value through as it was don't effectively put it through this filter okay um, Another more subtle change um, on uh, this uh, filter dial uh, MIDI route settings dialog here, there's an option called notes only, um, and this is generally used when you're doing a keyboard split of some sort, and um, you don't want um, other controller events going to one of one of the routes. There's this notes only option, but what it now does is it also passes through uh, CC123, which is the MIDI uh, all notes off event, so um, it just it just means that that all notes off you know kind of panic button um, event will get passed through um, even though this is a notes only route. Um, also, this dialog now um, remembers its layout. Um, it didn't used to before, but um, that's just one one thing that's been uh, cleaned up. And what else? Uh, there's a new option in uh, MIDI settings so in MIDI ports you'll see there's a new option here send MIDI clock tempo whilst it's stopped. Um, before Contabula used to only send the MIDI clock uh, tempo ticks when the transport was actually playing. Uh, this lets it send it um, so you can keep something in temp uh, uh, in sync tempo um, without the transport actually playing. Um, now there's a little bit of jitter when you go from uh, play to paused or to stop. Um, it's just it's just the way that Contabula has to resync um, itself to get the uh, the right MIDI clock being sent again, but um, in general it works uh, pretty well I think. And then the final thing I've added is uh, should have stayed there also in options um, under where have I put it miscellaneous I think yeah there's a new option here wake display on MIDI input so this is for cases where you have a machine that's always on. It's got a screen saver or a you know, screen power off type option um, and you want it to automatically turn back on just by hitting a note on your keyboard. Um, this will wake the display up um, on any sort of MIDI activity. Okay, that's it. Just a bunch of changes all related around MIDI, MIDI handling, MIDI filtering and so forth.